Hey there, this is Joey Randazzo. I am the owner of SEO Growth Partners here in Oregon. As you can tell, it's uh, starting to get dark outside um, and that is Oregon for you. So, but I wanna jump straight into how to do uh, local keyword research using SEMrush. It's one of my favorite tools. Um, my team and I are in this tool uh, dozens of hours a week. So I wanna jump straight into this. And for the sake of this example, I'll assume that we're talking about a physical therapist in Portland, uh, Oregon, where, where we are located. But you can use these same strategies and these same tactics that I'm about to show you, whether you're a physical therapist or um, any other local business out there from professional services of a CPA or a bookkeeper or a lawyer to um, a flower shop. So when you get into the back of SEMrush, um, there's something called a keyword magic tool over here. Um, before I jump into that, I'm just going to type in what I think is the most valuable keyword out there for physical therapists in Portland. And my guess is physical therapy, Portland. A lot of people don't use the word in, they don't use a lot of these other, um, these other words, right? They keep it really consolidated and condensed. So if I type in physical therapy, Portland, what pops up here um, is going to be what's the, the start of the keyword overview section. And now this, this tool here, SEMrush, doesn't have a particular section just for local keyword research. It's all going to fall under this generic uh, keyword research. Um, what's, what's great is that uh, SEMrush automatically pulls up keyword variations and related keywords. Now, if there are question-based queries, such as how much does physical therapy in Portland cost, and there's enough volume for those, then those are gonna populate in this questions section. But what I immediately do um, is look at the volume. And I'm looking strictly at US volume for a lot of these local keyword research, uh, keyword research because I don't necessarily care that there are folks in Italy that are searching for physical therapist in Portland or physical therapy Portland, excuse me, because they're likely not high intent searches. They're not searching for physical therapy Portland and uh, likely flying over from Italy to, to get some physical therapy. Now there's a chance, of course, that someone's on holiday, on vacation in Italy, and they you know are, are looking for a physical therapist for a family member or what it may be from Italy. But um, I, I strictly kind of rely on these uh, this for for local keyword research. Now, if you're in a different country, you can easily change that. If you're in Canada and you're, you you want to know local keyword research for uh, you know folks that are searching for physical therapist to Toronto, um, you can absolutely do that. Same with with any of these countries here to see local keyword volume. So that's a way to localize what you're doing from the back end of SEMrush. Is if we go physical therapy Toronto we would want to definitely um, check out, you know, 10 people searching per month. But if we go Canada, there's there's 210 people searching per month. So I'll go back to Physical Therapy Portland here. And we see the next thing is a keyword difficulty of 39% and possible. You know, I, I urge you to be a little cautious of the keyword difficulty tool um, as uh, making it seem like it's really possible and easy to go ahead and rank um, at the top of the pile for Physical Therapy Portland is, uh, actually went on the images there, is is possible. Um, it's definitely possible, but it's, it's, it's not easy. So as we see here, you've got the Google local pack, which is really critical for, um, for local searches as you're doing your local keyword research. And then we've got the organic part of the search underneath, which again, this is not super easy to rank for. These are competitive keywords. Um, so jumping into continuing with the keyword research for local, uh, local keyword research, I love to go to the keyword variations next and see if I maybe searched in the wrong top keyword, right? Maybe people are searching for physical therapist Portland. Um, or, or these different variations, right? So um, it looks like uh, based on what I put together, um, Physical Therapy Portland is going to be the, the, the top most valuable keyword here. But you can see there's tons of variations and Google is actually um, given different intent um, per, 
uh, not Google, excuse me, SEMrush has given what they think the intent of a search is. Now they think this is a navigational intent. Um, and, and it is, it's West Portland Physical Therapy. So it still is also um, a, a commercial and that users wants to navigate uh, and investigate brands and services. But what you can do here is, is you just kind of scrolling through it. And this is what I do. And uh, I'm, I'm first spending some time just seeing kind of how people search, right? There's going to be a lot of branded search, Broadway physical therapy, um, you know, uh, a lot of these therapeutic associates, downtown Portland physical therapy. This is um, very much a, a branded search, Adventist Health Physical Therapy Portland. So if I'm doing research for a particular client, in our case, if you're doing research for yourself, you can kind of see how your brand is comparing to some of the other brands. Are you getting uh, a lot of branded searches or not many? And, you know, you're just going to navigate through this and try to find those top most valuable keywords. Those are going to be the ones with the most volume. So if you're in West Portland, you know, it's going to be a little easier to rank for West Portland physical therapy than it is just going to be to rank for physical therapy in Portland. And so we've got, as you can see here, um, it looks like West Portland physical therapy might be a branded keyword as well as a local keyword. So they've kind of capitalized on the fact that they've got branded, the fact that their name, uh, WPPTC, West Portland Physical Therapy, is also a branded uh, search. Not only is it a navigational search of people who are in West Portland searching for West Portland Physical Therapy, but those people that are actually in just the West part of Portland, um, and they're trying to search for this as well. And therefore, they get a knowledge graph over here instead of the traditional um, Google local pack versus if I did Southwest Portland physical therapy, we're likely going to see again, we're going to see a Google local pack here. So that is, uh, that is one of the first things that you can do is, is just going in here and, and it's, it's a little bit manual. Yes, you can definitely export these keywords and do some fun things there, but at, at the basic level, you're going to get a lot of information um, by just searching through this and seeing um, what people are searching for. Um, I don't want to get too into this here uh, just due to time, but we've got broad match keywords, phrase match keywords, exact match keywords. Exact match is going to be literally, it always includes the word physical therapy Portland. And so there's only going to be a handful of these um, that have the exact match of physical therapy Portland in that order. Um, and you can see a lot, most of these are branded. Uh, however, we see some cool things here. F pelvic floor physical therapy, Portland, Oregon. So if you're a brand that specializes in a particular thing, you can you can even go ahead and, and go down and, and search by those. So now uh, if I search this, we're going to see that brands that specialize um, in pelvic floor physical therapy, you can see there it says their website mentions pelvic floor. They're, they're ranking here because they've added content to their website, probably through local keyword research with, uh, with pelvic floor, even though they have three reviews, um, they, they were able to get in this Google local pack, which is, which is good for them. So the other strategy that I like to do is Portland physical therapy. I like to search the top keyword into Google. And I like to go to the, the top ranking um, physical therapist. And you can do this two different ways. It looks like West Portland physical therapy is ranking in the Google local pack. This also depends on location. So the fact that I'm relatively close to them is, is indicative of why they might be ranking, but they're also ranking here as well. And so I'm going to go to their website. And what I'm going to do is another way to do keyword research within SEMrush is to work backwards is to actually start with one of the top competitors. And you do that by going to their domain overview. Um, you go to the domain overview section of SEMrush and you see um, what keywords they're ranking for. And how you do that is within the domain overview section, um, you can go down here to view all of the keywords that they're ranking for. And so now we're seeing 241 keywords that they're ranking for. And we're seeing what positions they're ranking for these keywords in. Um, and, and we can see here, 
that we can do a couple different things. So you can sort by, for example, the word Portland. And so now they've got 79 keywords that are ranking um, in, in, uh, in Google that have the word Portland in it. And so we can see here, pelvic floor physical therapy Portland, 40 people searching per month, they're ranking second. Um, generic physical therapy Portland, they're ranking eighth. Uh, that's one of the top most valuable keywords out there as we talked about, uh, West Portland physical therapy. And again, this says eighth, um, and this is the SEMrush is trying its best. It's a lot of these things are navigational. So while you see that the, the most valuable keyword is physical therapy, Portland, you know, they're ranking actually, um, where are they? Are they ranking eighth here? They are ranking about eighth here. I thought they were a little higher up. Um, anyway, uh, you can go through here and see where they're ranking for particular particular keywords, uh, and you can kind of reverse engineer it. So that's another strategy that you can do is if uh, you know sports uh, physical therapy Portland, right? Now they're not ranking incredibly well for that, but you know you can stumble upon these keywords this way. Um, and so that's another kind of fun way to go about it, looking at your competitors and seeing what they're ranking for. Uh, simply lower back pain, Portland, um, but, it, but they're ranking 77. So one way around this that I like to do is I like to look at what competitors are ranking for in the top 10 positions of Google, because if they're ranking in position 88 for a keyword, you don't really care. But if they're ranking in position you know, two or position four or position three, um, you're gonna you're gonna care about those. So that's some of the basics of local keyword research. There's a lot uh, more that you can do. Um, advanced strategies of exporting uh, all these hundreds and hundreds of keywords and organizing them based on volume and competition and all these different things. We do these for clients. It's it's a bit more complex um, because you know at the end of the day you want to find keywords that have really high volume but lower competition. Naturally, higher volume keywords are going to have higher competition when it comes to local keyword research. Um, but those top, top, top keywords that are the most competitive are really hard to rank for. So how can you find and filter through the noise to find keywords that have decent volume, uh, but really low competition so that you can slide up quicker and rank for keywords that your target audience is searching for locally, uh, but that may not be impossible to rank for early, uh, really quickly. So. Again, this is Joey Randazzo with SEO Growth Partners, and this is a quick tutorial on local keyword research, specifically using SEMrush.